Welcome back to our command line or CMD tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to take a look at CD command. And this is the command that allows you to navigate your file system. Before I open a command prompt as we did in previous tutorial, let's open any folder. I will open uh, my file explorer by clicking at the bottom of task manager or you can click on, on any folder at all. And here at the bottom of the left side navigation you will see this PC. This is what we reviewed also in previous video. As you remember from previous tutorials and is in this PC, this is your drive or there might be multiple drives on your computer. In my computer in this scenario we have only one drive which is C drive. And here I am going to explain you the passes. So if you are absolutely new to computer to passes and you don't understand the ways how to navigate from one folder to another and what is the pass, here I am going to give you a quick explanation. If we click in this PC, this is C and here at the top you see the pass. If you click to the right from this pass, as you can see this says this PC, if you click to the right you will see that currently we are in this PC. But if we click into the C and we do exactly the same and if we will click to here to the right from this navigation you see that we are currently in C drive. This is the drive which we entered and like I mentioned this is the only drive which is available on this particular computer. In other computers you might have a D drive or B drive or any other drives which would be indicated as letter and this column. And here you can see users folder. If we click into the users and also we do exactly the same here at the navigation bar to the right we click in, we will see that currently we are in C column backslash and we are in users folder. And here if you will have more than one user on your computer you will be able to see their folders here in this particular users directory. As you can see my users directory is called Marty. This is my username. And if I will click into this Marty and also here at the very top on the navigation bar to the right I will click in into the navigation bar. Here you will see this path C column backslash users. We are in users directory and we are in Marty directory. And if we now open a command prompt like you remember from the last tutorial you can type in command prompt and you can click here on this icon command prompt or you can type in simply cmd and hit enter and this will open a command prompt and here you first thing what you will see is that every time whenever you are opening a command prompt you are in this path c column backslash in users directory and in your users folder and all your data is in this your folder and here you will see this blinking cursor which means that you can start executing commands in this particular directory. But now I, if I will open again this directory in the graphical user interface you will see exactly the same path and here you can see can there is your downloads directory if I will click into this downloads and I will do exactly the same here at the very top in this navigation bar if I will click anywhere to the right from this navigation then you can see that currently I am in C column backslash in users directory in Marty directory in my users directory which is my users directory and I am in my downloads. This means that if you will have more than one user then they all will have these files in their directory. For you it is users marty directory this is where your all files will be and their files like their downloads directory their documents their desktop all their files will be in their directories so you will not be able to see their folders or their files and their information if you will be logged in into the windows as a simple user and similar way by these passes as you can see if you are clicking into the desktop if you click to the right then you will see that you are in user Smarty and desktop or this will be your username and on your desktop and you will be able to see all your files and folders on your desktop as you see on my desktop there is images folder which you can see here and Cisco packet tracer which is here and these are not displayed because those are hidden icons but in general if you would want to navigate exactly to the same place for example to your desktop you could copy this pass. This is only for beginners because in real life you already will know how to do it and you could type in command cd which is change directory then add space and you can paste that pass in there and hit enter. And now you will see that now you have changed from users marty 
to users Marty desktop and now you are in your desktop and this means that you have entered exactly this particular path and if we if you would want to navigate back to your Marty you could do it also by CD and typing two dots because two dots whenever you are typing in command prompt this means that you can go navigate one pass back and hit enter and as you can see we have returned now back to C column backslash users and Marty this is my directory so here you can also understand that you can navigate this way all other different files which you have in your directory as from when you are in users and Marty for example if you would want to go to downloads let's go back to command prompt and type in CD because we are navigating from Marty and we have their downloads directory and type in downloads and hit enter and now as you can see I have navigated to users Marty downloads but for example if I would want to go to C drive to my root directory of this particular computer I could also do it by typing in CD change directory space and then I specify where I want to go and I want to go to C column and backslash and hit enter and as you can see now I am in my C drive and this is how you can navigate all through your file system and if you don't know the path of some particular folder and if you are not familiar at the very beginning like I mentioned you can go and use at the very starting stages once you are learning these passes or how to navigate or if you would want to see by using graphical user interface you could go to this PC and you could click into the drive where is your users by using graphical user interface you could click into your username and to see any of the passes which you want to navigate to or where you would want to go to at the very start you could click in to the right from the address in the navigation like I mentioned if I would for example go into documents folder here also I can click in the top navigation bar and I can see the path of my documents folder and similar way if we would want to get there we could type in all paths straight away or for example I could go CD first enter user then hit enter and now I am in my C drive and in users directory and I know that in my users directory there is a username which is my username which is Marty and I could also navigate there by typing in CD and Marty or I could go for example straight away into downloads directory by typing backslash and downloads and hitting enter and here you can see that I have navigated to downloads directory and now I can execute all other different commands in this directory so cd command is pretty much the same but you would be using if you would be navigating files in your graphical user interface and this is useful to know all these passes where you would want to go and how to navigate to them by using cd command in your command prompt if you would want to execute particular commands in that particular directory or if you would want to copy files delete files or send files to these directories and in further tutorials we are going to explore more commands so keep tuned and see you in the next video mm -hmm.